JNL Shooting Academy. We're out here today on the range. We're going to show you a new firearm that we just acquired. It is the Gerson M35, I think is what they call it. The M35 or is it the MC? My bad. MC P35. It's a 9mm. What it is, it is a clone of the more famous Browning High Power. All right, uh, this Turkish made company is imported through e -E EAA Arms out of Cocoa, Florida. All right, but the firearm itself is made in Milton, Turkey. Uh, when we were talking with the sales rep at the store, I was asking him just some comparison information about this pistol and the SA 35 that Springfield has come out with. Um, what he was telling me, this is just as good, if not better, than the SA-35. Because all the reports he's getting on the SA-35, they're having all kinds of problems with them. Now, that I don't know myself. But what we're going to talk about today, or what we're going to do today, is give you a demonstration of it today. Test fire it, see how it handles, that kind of thing. Um, a few basic things, as we all know, the four universal rules of gun safety. All right. First thing you must always do is treat every firearm as if it's loaded whether it's not or whether it is or it's not. In this case also, with that rule, an implied task is to visually verify and check whether it's loaded or unloaded. So this time, as you can see, I have no magazine in. I'm gonna move the slide hammer, the slide back, locking the slide to the rear. And we can see visually in there, I have no ammunition in there at this time. So indeed the weapon is technically safe, but Brings us to another rule, universal rule. We just keep a weapon, the weapon pointed in a safe direction at all times. In this case, down range, okay? Uh, the other thing is we keep our trigger off the finger until we're ready to engage a target, okay? Uh, which also brings us to never point this at anything that you're not willing or ready to destroy or shoot at, all right? And the final rule is know your target, which you see out here, I've just got a little target about 20 yards from where we're standing. Okay, which so we'll be shooting at here in a minute. Know what's beyond it, but also what's around it. Okay, what is around your target? All right, and the reason behind that is not just because the bullet can penetrate your target, but the bullet can, in fact, ricochet off your target. Your target seat cover behind something. Bullet can fragment, creating spalling and fragments that can fly around. So, in a self defense shooting situation, know your target, what's beyond what's around it. So, back to the firearm itself. One feature I don't like about it is the fact that it has a magazine safety, meaning, unless I put a magazine in, you know, YouTube, I'm not putting a magazine in. I'm just explaining to the people out there, YouTube auditor, that this weapon has a magazine safety. Without the magazine in, when I pull the trigger, the hammer will not fall whether I've got it on safe or off safe. Okay, YouTube, I'm not inserting a magazine, YouTube. There's no magazine. I'm not even showing how to insert it. I'm just showing that without one in there, this hammer won't fall. I had to do that. Apparently, YouTube's got some new rule stating that... Uh, I cannot show you how to insert a magazine into this weapon. So at this time, we're going to pause in order to load this firearm to give our demonstration uh, on our target and see how well this thing shoots out of the box. So stand by. All right, folks, we're about to engage our target. Notice I still have the weapon on safe, but it is now loaded. Hammer's cocked. There is a round in the chamber. I'm going to drop the safety, which I do like it also has ambidextrous safety. Now we're going to engage our target. All right, we're gonna pause this to go down and look at the target. We'll be right back. 
All right, so initial out of the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of fifteen on the paper. Might be me adapting with that new trigger. We're gonna go reload this magazine. Fire fifteen more rounds. See if we can bring this back into here. Might have to adjust the windage on the sights at a later time. That's the other thing this pistol has an adjustment windage for the owner's manual. But uh, get back out here and get some back, back with some basic fundamentals and see if we can bring this closer to center mass. Be right back. Alright, we're gonna try and attempt 15 more and see how we do. All right, well, we're gonna go down range and see how we did again. Well, it looks like this round went a little better as I got more towards the center. So, just some fundamentals hadn't been on the range in a little bit. So, we're gonna go reload and fire one more magazine worth, and then we're gonna close this video out for today. So, stand by, folks. Last 15 minutes or 15 rounds, and uh, we're gonna see if we can actually. Tighten up the shot group now. down and take a look at our targets we'll be right back all right folks that is our demonstration of the mc 35p or mcp 35 p35 yeah by gerson imported by eea arms out of cocoa florida it's an ice shooting pistol i really like it so i figured we'd show you that one today I've got to work on, this is me, this isn't the gun, this is me. I've, every firearm I've got, handgun wise, I have to spill it. I've got to get back to working on the fundamentals. But, at 20 yards, that's a dead dude. So for self-defense, it's still in there. But folks, I hope y'all continue to watch the channel, j &L Shooting Academy. We appreciate you. More content's gonna follow on a weekly basis from here on out as we get the channel to grow, to get the business to grow. Don't forget, if you're not a member of the USCCA, consider it. I'm gonna drop a link down below in the description where you can download a free guide, all right? Check it out. If you're not a member, it's cool, but uh, if you do carry every day, consider looking at what USCCA's got to offer, not just because of uh, the protection they offer you, but the free online training you can receive as well from USCCA. So, again, Hope everybody's having a great start of their week. This is Lee from JL Shooting Academy. Until next week, stay safe. God bless. Take care.